first point of business today. For all of you people who keep bothering me about doing Flash Let's Plays while I'm in the middle of a Let's Play, that's kind of rude by, it, by itself, but even more so, any vote for a Flash Let's Play while I'm in the middle of this Let's Play is a vote for Nazism. Because if I'm playing this game, I'm killing Nazis. But if I'm not playing this game so that I can do a Flash video, I'm not killing Nazis. That means that you want me to not kill Nazis, which means you like Nazis, which means you're a Nazi. That's a bad thing. You should probably get that checked out. This next mission, um, the next set of missions, is our last set of missions. So this is the end of the game coming up. And it is also the worst named mission in the game. Uh, but we'll get to that in a sec. Right now, movie time! This war is going to end soon. And unfortunately, so may the Grand Alliance that won it. Ike's going to let the Soviets into Berlin first, and once that happens, everything will change. The spoils of this war are not going to be land or riches, but scientific research. The Germans have a huge head start in jet propulsion and rocketry, technology that's going to change the world we live in. This mission that you begin today is why you were brought into the OSS. It's been in the planning stages since before D-Day, since before I even knew your name. Lieutenant, you're being sent back into Germany one last time on a mission that just may determine the fate of the free world. 150 miles southwest of Berlin lies the Hartz Mountain Range. Buried deep inside it is the Nordhausen Mittelwerk plant, where the Nazis have been building their rockets ever since the Peenemunde raid in 43. The facility is run by the SS, and the toughest of the Waffen divisions are stationed there. The Germans consider the V2 program their last hope, and they'll protect it at all costs. We need to learn everything the Germans know, and bluntly, we can't let the Soviets find out. Your mission is to turn their own terror weapon against them, capture their research, analyze it the best you can, then use it to destroy the facility. I've been told that luck is when opportunity meets preparedness. If that's the case, Lieutenant, I wish you all the luck in the world. I hope to see you back in London soon. It occurs to me that earlier in that mission when they showed a map, uh, Germany should have been much bigger considering all that they held at the time. Although I suppose it could be a way of saying, nah, -uh, we're not going to secede even in temporarily that territory to you. Why is this a stupid mission? Uh, name for a mission? Because it's escape from the V2 rocket plant, and yet we're starting off by breaking into the V2 rocket plant. So what they're doing is like, we need you to escape from this rocket plant. So first we need you to somehow make your way in there so that you can escape. All right, so, yep, Grandpa Jimmy is the best guy ever because he's the only field operative who could ever pull it off. It's been hard to get information out of Nordhausen. The Waffen has been careful. One of the scientists from Warsaw has been feeding scraps of information. The best way into the factory is through the V1 buzz bomb assembly area. See if you can acquire the V1 target list. Based on range and trajectory, we can backtrack from an intended target location to find a launch site. Uh, it's easy to knock out while it's on the ground. And use a demolition charge to destroy the launch controls, then open the blast doors and exit through the V2 access tunnel. I wonder if there's a V3, 4, and 5. Whew, yeah. Lots of stuff. We did our test. I mentioned in the other video that I did very well in my test. Um... Let's find out what we've got for weapons. We have shotgun. We've got this, which is a nice gun, except it's not very accurate. A bazooka. And grenades. So basically, the theme for this mission is you're not going to hit anything, so just shoot a bunch. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That was terrible. Did you see that? I mean, I shot... I literally just shot that guy in the helmet... And then I let loose another spray of bullets, and did I hit him at all? No. Why would I hit him? There. Good job. Okay, that time was a little bit better. They ran right into the bullets. Now, this would be much easier if you could jump over here, because then you could just continue on. But instead... Oh, I hate this part here, too. Let's get out the uh, shotgun. 
get down here. Good, there's nobody in the corner. Ah! Ah! Stop jumping around like that. Sidestepping like a madman. Nobody... Ah! No! Come on. Hit him in the helmet. I'm not aiming. I'm purposefully not aiming when I'm shooting these guys with the shotgun because it's just too slow. I picked up a first aid kit. I guess. Alright. There's a field surgeon kit here too, but we won't need it. When you drop down that ladder, you land on top of these boxes, and then there's guys in this room, which, of course, very difficult to uh, see them and shoot them right when you land. And then you head up here. And there should be more guys at the top. Whoop. Yep, there they go. Dude! 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 Where the heck are you? Oh my gosh! Oh, there's another guy coming, too. I can hear his footsteps. There you are. Yeah, see, there's no precision here. I can't... Ah! Gosh. Stop it! Everybody's gonna be much better at shooting me in this level than they have been previously. Uh, because of the... That's how they heighten the difficulty of the game. They give... We've mentioned this so many times before, but in this, in these levels, they're going to give the Nazis... Holy crap! Where did you come from? You were not here. You were a respawn. That is not cool. That is not cool at all. Ugh. Stupid respawning Nazis from your cloning technology. V. Alright, let's get... Well, actually, I want to stand. There you go. Arrgh. Super accurate Nazis! They have special powers. That's the only way that this could be happening. Um, what was I talking about? I don't remember. Oh, the way they up the difficulty here is they give the Nazis machine guns. Then they make them very accurate with those machine guns so that they can continuously fire at you and hit you the entire time. Who's shooting at me? I don't even know where you are. That's a good way to... Oh, come on. They're, they're banking shots around the corner now. Oh my gosh, I just clipped the wall. And then by giving you these crappy guns... It might be a powerful gun, but it has crap for accuracy, and so you can't shoot the guys and kill them in one hit like I'm used to. Ah, okay, give me this. There, you're dead. Stay that way. Anybody else want some? I got more. I brought enough for the whole class. There. You happy? I killed you. Does that make you feel better? Do you feel like you're one of the big boys now? You're playing with the big boys now. No. Uh, we had homework in my pharmacokinetics class. And pharmacokinetics is the study of how... Come on, look at where my reticle is, you stupid gun. I was aiming above the box, and you... I mean, I was aiming at the box, and you kept shooting above it. Alright, here comes the badness. 